So welcome to the second tutorial in how to create a text-based RPG in Python. And where we left off is we're going to create the start function. So we can do that by defining start. And we could do print, uh, let's, what do we want to do? Hello, what is your name? And then we could do option equals raw underscore input. We'll do the arrow again. You could do whatever you want. I just like doing that. And then we could do player. Let's see. Player IG equals player option and basically what this is doing is we're calling we're creating a function called player ig i i call it player ig and what the ig stands for is in game so this is the class itself but you need to set it inside of a function basically so player and then remember when i said whenever you call this class you it needs a name and the name will be option basically with the player types in and then uh, after this, we could um, start one, a different function. So define start one. So we'll put hello, how are you? Or I don't know. And then we could do player ig dot name so basically what this means hello percent s how are you this is just a placeholder for a string so if the percent's in here you know it's a per and there's something like s or r or i or d that's gonna be a placeholder so raw basically just prints it raw so if there was nothing in the string and it would print null, this is what you would use R for. But if you want to print a string, like what we, because name is going to be a string, then that's what we do. Or if you wanted to print a number, you could use D or I. But we'll use S. And then after the string, you need to put a space percent. And if you're using a single just, you know, a single thing that you can just do this. But if you use, mul like, say you see you use multiple, like 2% S's. Then you need to do this. So you put parentheses. So player IG.name would go with the first one. And then for the second one, you could do player IG. Um, well, we don't really have any strings, so name again. I don't know. So yeah, I want to check if I got any errors or anything. Undefined player IG. Global player IG. Yeah, global basically means so you can use it outside of local functions, which is what we have to do, I guess. All right, let's test this. So start. Hello, what is your name? Vincent. Hello, Vincent, how are you? Yeah, so, so this works. So we have the player's name, but as you can see, like everything is all smashed together and it doesn't cram together and it doesn't really look good. So what you could do is at the beginning of every single function, you could call operating system dot system clear for every single one of these. And basically what this does is you're calling a command from the operating system they're using. So since this runs off of a bash terminal, it's going to be using Linux commands. So the command to clear the terminal, as you can see right here, is clear. But if you wanted to, if you're on Windows, then you'd use CLS. And on a Mac, which is what I'm using, is clear. So now, if I run this, Python RPG 
tutorial.py, you'll see that it clear see it clears the terminal and it says welcome to my game. And if we type in like J, it goes back, but it clears the terminal. So let's go to start, cleared it. Vincent. Hello Vincent, how are you? And then it ends the program after that. So basically what do we do? Clear the terminal, got the player's name. Now what we could do is make the main menu, like for the game. So, could print the player's stats. This is what I usually like to do in my games. Name, you know, string. Print, attack. This is basically just for example to show you guys so you could use either d or i for this percent player ig dots um what do i want to do health no, no, no attack next one we could do health so health and i'll be using two numbers for this so percent i which will be the health they have out of health overall so what this will look like is percent player ig dot health comma player ig dot player ig dot um, max health. So now if we look at this, start sent no attribute max. Maybe didn't save. Yeah, auto save didn't it? Save, all right. So see, attack, 10, health, 100 out of 100. As you can see right here. So you'll see these both work. And then after that, we could just do a new line. Or you could do this. And then you could do, like, 1, fight, print to store three save print four exit so now we can do if oh I know we can do option declare this again equals raw underscore input And then, so if option equals one, then we'll go to fight, which we will create later. Else if option equals two, go to store, which we'll create later. Else if option equals three, we'll pass because we won't be creating this for a while. And then LF option equals four then we'll do system dot exit exits the program and else we else we want to go to start one and basically why I created suit two separate functions for you know start one and start is start is if you're starting a new game but if you loaded the game from a previous save file, then it would go straight to start one. But I guess we'll, we can get into that later. So let's create the let's create the fight and the store real quick. And in the next tutorial, I will be working on that. So to find fight, pass. Define store. And pass. And in the next tutorial, what was this? Invalid syntax. Oh. Okay, so it, yeah, in the next tutorial, I'll be working on the shop and the, the fight map. And with that, I'll also be teaching you how to create enemies for your game.